Hey everybody. Okay, so I wanted to do um, this formula in its own video because you don't really have to have it. Um, is it nice to have it? Sure. Is it helpful? Yeah, it's going to cut maybe 0.1 seconds off every time you solve an equation. And I'm, I'm just making that number up. But um, those numbers, those 0.1s actually add up to be a lot if you're doing a lot of math problems, okay? So yeah, this, this formula, not required, if you're comfortable with y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form, then that's really all you need to probably get through most of the math that you need. Now, if you're going to go through the calculus sequence, I'm going to strongly recommend that you actually understand this one because it's going to shave time off for you. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so this is the formula. So if you're keeping a note card, I strongly suggest that you write this formula down. So it says y, oops, I don't know why it did that y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Now, here's what you fill in. All you need, by the way, math people aren't super creative. We usually name things after uh, what they do or what, they're, what you're using. So in this case, we're using a point and we're using the slope to find the equation of a line. So we're substituting in, if you have a point, the y value right there, the slope right there, and the x value right there. Now, the place where people usually mess up is I want you to notice the minus sign there and the minus sign there. If you have any negatives in your point, don't forget that you still have this negative or this minus sign right here. So then you would have a double negative, which would end up being a plus, right? Minus minus is a plus. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's look at an example. All right, so now this says, find an equation of a line with a slope of m is two-fifths and the point, it contains the point 10, 3, right? Okay, so we're going to, you've seen this example before, by the way, it was in the last video. So this time I I'm going to do it using the slope, the point slope form, not the slope intercept. I used slope intercept last time. I'm going to use point slope this time. And the point slope formula is, okay, where we substitute in this, this, and this, okay? Now, write it in slope intercept form is what they're asking us for. But if your problem simply says, leave it in point slope form, then all you have to do is y minus, now what's our y coordinate? It's three is equal to, our m is two fifths, and then x minus our x coordinate, which is 10, okay? This right here is point slope form, okay? Now, if the problem says leave it in point slope form, you're done. That's it. You have an equation, okay? But if it says slope intercept, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to distribute, okay? So we've got to get rid of the parentheses. Two-fifths times minus 10 is going to be a minus. 5 goes in, look, I'm doing this in my head, 5 goes into 10 twice, 2 times 2 is 4, okay? And then we would add 3 to get the y by itself to get it into slope-intercept form. And this is the exact same answer that we came up with in the last video for this problem, okay? So it really doesn't matter which form you want it in, if you want it in point slope, this is the easiest way to get it there. Just leave it like that. Don't do anything else to it. If you have to change that into slope intercept form, you need to distribute and then get rid of the term that's over here with the y. All right, let's try another one. All right, for this one, find an equation of a line with a slope of negative one third Make sure that's, yep, negative one-third. That contains the point six, negative four. Okay, so we've got our m, m, we've got our x sub one, we've got our y sub one. 
Okay, we're going to use the point slope formula again. All right, so our y sub 1, so we have y minus, and our y sub 1 is negative 4, so don't forget that negative sign there, okay? It is equal to negative 1 third times x minus 6. Now, notice right here we have a double negative, okay? So we want to do change, change. All right, so now we have y plus 4 is equal to negative 1 third times x minus 6, okay? Now, if the problem says leave it in point slope form, you are done. You could write y plus 4 is equal to negative 1 third times x minus 6, and you're done if it says point slope formula. Oh, that goes right there. That's the point slope form. Okay, now if it says to turn into slope intercept form like this one does, we have to distribute. y plus 4 is equal to negative 1 third x. And notice right here, negative times a negative is a positive. And 1 third times 6, that's the same thing as 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And then I would subtract 4 from both sides. So I end up with y is equal to negative 1 third x minus 2. And that's it. All right, this one's just a little bit different. Find an equation of a horizontal line. It says specifically here, horizontal line. That, oops, that contains the point negative 1, 2. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, so if it's a horizontal line, what kind of slope does it have? Think about that for just a second. And by the way, anytime it says horizontal line, we really don't have to do a whole lot of work. You should know by now that if it's a horizontal line, that it looks like, and it goes through the point negative 1, 2, so it goes through this point right here, and it's a horizontal line. So it only crosses the y-axis, right? And if it only crosses the y-axis, that means it can only have a y in the equation. And the it can't have an x, it's not allowed to. And what is the y-coordinate in this point right here? It is 2. This is your final answer. Notice we didn't do any work. We didn't have to. They gave us enough information right here and right here in order to be able to answer this problem. All right, so now let's do a problem where it doesn't give you the slope. And, um, and let's leave it in, they want it in slope-intercept form, but we're going to use the point-slope form first, okay? But the thing is, no matter if, which way you're doing this, you have got to find the slope of the line first, okay? So our slope is 6 minus 4 over 3 minus 5. Remember, change in your y's over the change in your x's. 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2, and you have an, a slope of negative 1. Okay, now, if you're using the point-slope formula, you might be asking yourself, well, which one of these points do I use? Well, that really, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do this problem twice, and I'm going to show you that we get the same answer no matter which point we use. All right, so... The first one, we'll do that one in blue. So I've got y minus, and I'm using this first point, minus 4 is equal to negative 1 times x minus 5. So I'm going to distribute. Because they want us to write it in slope-intercept form. And then I would add 4 to both sides. All right. Let's do this now in um, a different color. Let's see if white works. All right, so I've got y minus. Now I'm using the 3, 6 point, this one right here, okay? 
So y minus 6 is equal to, my slope doesn't change. I'm still using the same slope. And so I'm going to distribute the negative 1. And I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Notice we get the same answer. That is it. Notice they are the same. So it did not matter which point we used. But the problem is, the very first thing you have to know, you have to know a point and you have to know the slope, okay? And once you have those two pieces of information, you can either use the point-slope equation or you can use slope-intercept, y equals mx plus b, if you'd rather. But I will say, I it took me a little bit, but I like this one better. I like the point-slope form better. It shaves off some time, and believe me, if you go through calculus, you're going to want to shave off some time. So there you go. All right, have a great day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.